Whoa, Nelly. People say, oh, it's been patched. No more 15 man tigers. Jin and Tommy just proved you guys wrong. We have ourselves a 15 minute king tiger. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. Hello everyone, this is Grayshot117, considered one of the best Company for Heroes 2 commentators on YouTube and one of the best Company for Heroes 2 streamers by no one except for my cat. So I take that with a lot of lot of weight. A lot of weight. Um, mostly in the general audience, I'm considered one of the worst Company for Heroes 2 players, so I will gladly keep that title. Um, but, in any case, what I am good at, though, is commentating. Hey, and I will say thank you to the person who submitted this. I will give out your name at the very end of this replay. If you want to submit your own replay uh, to, once again, one of the uh, best and or worst, depending on most people or my cat, uh, submit to greatshopproductions at gmail.com. And, uh, of course, you can always check out more content on my YouTube and my Twitch streams, which will also feature my cat. And you can debate why she believes I'm the best and everyone else thinks I'm the worst. Definitely. Definitely gonna work out. Yes. In any case, we have an American and a, and a British and a Vermont and OKW. A lot of air support, a lot of fortifications versus an artillery, and we'll see. We, 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 we shall see. In any case... Uh, Stern Pioneers on standby with British. Um, one thing I will note, along with my terrible joke, is uh, 2v2 map, Potawa? I want to say Potawa. Right. Um, should be interesting just because of the uh, map distribution. A lot of choke points along, along narrow routes. So I can see fortifications really working. Um, also, the, the went with a lot of infantry and universal carrier. Not really a uh, MG. Though it seems to be working over, sw surrounding the Stern Pioneers in multiple directions, holding them back. Uh, Volk Squad going after the Mortar, but Mortar actually holding off relatively fine. Uh, we got Rifle and Squad over here, pushing back the MG. We got British Infantry Squads still over here on standby, knocking out the Stern Pioneer on the retreat. And on the far left, we have uh, Tommy laying down this barbed wire defense, most likely trying to stop a flank. Um, I would say go this way, but you can't. So, yeah, they, although, technically, you can come this way, so, you know, oh, wow, he's blocking off this entire area, which I guess is okay, but, I'm, okay, I'm, the enemy could easily defend this area with a fighting position. Holy God, Tommy, one, two, three MGs, holy crap, a lot of Volk squads, though, so I guess one guy's going MG focus, one guy's going infantry focus, that can work, I just find, oh, wow, okay, and mechanized went with urban assault. Again, you get the flame, yeah, I'm sorry, not the flamethrower, you get the fire malt of cocktails for the rifleman, bulldozer, co cover to cover, all right, fine, and uh, rangers, which, again, pretty damn good. So, we have rear echelons moving in, we got those, uh, ooh, hello, yes, we got those rifle grenades everyone likes. Yeah, um, and again, they fire, but, uh, again, they're just... They, they, again, they're very good because of their automatic fire rate. I, I just, yeah, as you can see. Um, my thing is, though, is just the fact, like, with those, they are powerful, but you have to be very lucky with them. Um, they, but they, again, because they require luck, the meme worthiness of it goes straight up, as you just saw with that awesome hit. Anyway, Rifleman and them could be reinforced by the ambulance back here. Folk squads, unfortunately, not the case. They are barely alive, and I am, I don't know how long they're gonna keep this fight going. Yeah, they retreated. That makes sense. Uh, Tommy, again, Panzer Grenadiers. That seems to be like the new thing. Panzer Grenadiers with MGs. Um, so, if you're a Soviet, scout cars with penals. Good counter. NK, or Universal Carrier with a flamethrower, but, you know, I guess the MG works too at killing infantry out of cover, or MGs out of cover, or infantry, stuff like that. Anyway, MG's gonna die, which is cool. Actually, real quick, let's double check everyone's ranks. So we got Mechanized, Communist versus Tom Ray's in Jin. Axes have advantage in total time, but that being said, rank does not matter in this game. So don't so take that with a grain of salt. This map has a lot of buildings, a lot of cover, so it can be a little difficult, but overall, as we can see, um, the British are actually doing quite well and trying to go, move cover to cover and holding them back. Germans as well, and they're kind of hiding in the buildings, which is helpful for some units, but as we can see, some other units are holding really well. I don't know why you're healing the Royal Engineer Squad so close to the front. That doesn't seem like the best idea. 
So, I don't know. Rifleman capturing territory. Again, nice job healing your forces. I, I would assume that he might send his force over here to heal. The British, actually, do you have five-man squads? You do! That's a nice bonus, communist. So, very nice indeed. Actually, and also, because they went a little bit more heavily on artillery, that could be beneficial. However, if Tomrays can call in the airstrikes from behind, that could reduce their effectiveness. Because they could knock out the Calliope and Priest, which are very good. I think... Yeah, we're actually right now, I don't know, I think this was released after the American, uh, list. And I think we gave, uh, this doctor, we definitely give this S tier. I think we gave Urban Assault a B tier. I could see it being an A tier for, some, like, 1v1s games. I just thought this was a little more generic. Even though, like, the Rangers are pretty awesome. Uh, damn it, I'm kind of, like, debating now, but, uh, and because, I, again, some people said, oh, you know, with Rangers shouldn't it be A tier. Well, I could definitely see that. I don't know. I just think of the overall usability of this is still sort of like high B-ish. It could be your low A. But anyways, any case, I highly recommend you check out my American tier list. And also all the other tier lists we've been doing. Fire grenade going into the building. Unsure why he threw that there. I guess he was trying to go for that, but the building caught it, which is hilarious. Damn it, I threw the grenade and the building caught it. What do you think was supposed to happen? The grenade go through the building, of course. Makes perfect sense. Anyway, what also makes, I guess, sense is an, a bunker going down to hold this position. Y you figure the barbed wire would stop the infantry, except for coming down this way, which is still relatively easily opened. Again, just put a smoke and you can get around here quite easily. Anyway, uh, Volk squad's being pushed back. British, unfortunately, got Panzerfausted. But again, we have now Panzergraders moving in, so that could be a complication. On this map... Again, this doctrine allows for dropping in supplies. The fuel and the munitions are closer to the middle. This one might be a little bit easier because, again, it is more more uh, blocked off. But the as we can see, the allied players right there, and also his bazooka, which is actually helping to remove that. And we can see he's directing fire. It's helping to slowly remove a lot of those barbed wire position, which is helping. It's helping him advance, helping him take the spot. Will that allow him to... Uh, take this fuel probably not because there's an MG right here, but he can try god damn it He could try and also remember these guys do have smoke if you give him the upgrade He didn't get the grenade uh, gre uh, sorry grenade upgrade. So right now he doesn't he did go captain So that's cool um, as you can see with a captain You get the AT gun the howitzer and the half track so it's a good assortment I could definitely see the howitzer being good to try to remove a lot of these MGs although Oh god, we already have support spam. Two support guns back to back, providing a lot of artillery fire against the American positions. And hate to break it to you, as much as I like those free echelon grenades, they can't shoot that far. Though, this would be a good counterattack for... Hold on. Where is it? Ah, yes, the concentration barrage. So you could use it here, do pretty well. Remove communist, by the way, has a 1200 manpower. Very confused by that. Um, I don't know what he's saving up for. Because this is has all the infantry, and the next one's armor. Which, if he's going to upgrade the building, he'll lose that. And he doesn't have something like commandos, or like, that you could drop in an airland group, and then you could, you know, get the airland officer with more commandos drop in. I kind of get it saving up for that, but not in this situation. So, I'm going to call you, uh, communist, a manpower hoarder for the time being. You have that label. Congratulations. Universal Carrier, doing a great job. I love the MG because it does shred infantry out of cover. And we can see here already his tank kills and vet two. Very nice job in that regard. Meanwhile, again, we have some American forces uh, on standby. We have fighting position over here. So it looks like both sides have an MG or some defenses, making sure that there's a bit of a no man's land kind of like in here where either side can't really advance without being hit by the other side's MG. Smoke going down. Very curious why you would place that. I'm not... Yeah, because you're going to retreat it. That would be my rationale. I don't think you're going to move up many, a lot of troops right now on it. Honestly, the mortar might be better. But unfortunately, Panzer Grenadier is doing a lot. Bundle Grenade could kill the building. Very close. It's halfway dead. But it looks like that Bundle Grenade didn't do as much as I thought it was going to do. Building held its ground quite well. Though the sport guns... I can definitely see being a hindrance to the American player, especially with their ambulance, stuff like that. Though the mortar could return fire, it just needs to get, I think, a little bit closer. MG opening fire on the, um, on the rifleman. They could always throw a Molotov cocktail. It is more expensive, but they do throw it faster. Um, Americans, all that experience with baseball allows them to throw the Molotov cocktail a lot easier than the, the Soviets, who apparently hate baseball and uh, don't like it as much. 
now we have fuel coming in. This could be interesting. Now, I would say this would be a better scenario if it was like the 15 minute tiger rush, but it's not. Right now it's fortifications and that thing, that thing has been patched. Also, goodbye to that uh, building. Luckily the MG did escape it looks like. Also, it looks like the British might be able to take right or at least keep the Germans from capturing it, which is pretty damn good. Now, uh, again, keep, try to keep them back. We have an AT gun and British forces moving on in. A uh, Volk squad's coming in with the Universal Carrier trying to get a nice shot on this, but alas, too slow and not uh, in a good enough angle to hit that target. Well, in the future, we shall see. Volk squad's trying to stop the enemy from capturing mid. Right now, the Germans have taken that over and putting a lot of pressure on the Allies for victory control. Now, the Allies are taking back the northern sector over here, and it looks like they're launching a counterattack of some type in this area, but the Universal Carrier keeping uh been kept back by that uh at gun we do have constant fueling this sector which is good and bad it's good because it's getting a lot of fuel for the axis it's bad and this is why it's bad because it's right now reducing the manpower for this gentleman so this gentleman now is reducing the manpower slowly but surely will that affect his game i don't know because also point out he already has like 500 plus manpower but he doesn't have a huge army but overall, again, versus the Allies, he doesn't necessarily need it. So, again, as long as he has a smaller army, he gets a little bit more manpower. Maybe that helps with it. But, again, maybe that's why he's hoarding it, so that way he pumps out a bunch of units. Um, overall, he hasn't upgraded. Oh, sorry, he has upgraded to Escalation Phase 2. Interesting. And he already has that much fuel, which, if, he's, if the Sturms are grabbing that as well... And he's already gotten a medical. And he's already has a panzer. In 12 minutes, he's going to... Yeah, essentially 13 minutes, he's going to have all the buildings. Now, it looks... Yeah, he's constantly dropping fuel. He's constantly using that manpower. The only thing I could possibly think of is they're rushing a King Tiger. That could be a problem. Because if they get a 15-minute King Tiger... Oh, God, is that terrifying. You thought a 15-minute King... Uh, Tiger Ace was bad. How about a 15-minute King... Um, again, that's uh, pushing it a little bit, but let's just say, hypothetically, in the next two minutes, they get another 50 fuel from base income. Remember, with the drops, they get another 50 fuel per drop, and they can call that in every minute. So add another 150, and you would roughly have enough for a King Tiger. But in the next two minutes, would he have enough for a King Tiger to deploy via manpower? With 228, again, double that. That's around 550. Yes, he would just barely have enough manpower to get that. So that could be an interesting strategy. We'll see how that goes. Luckily, the British are not letting up on the Axis. They are putting a lot of pressure and as you can see here, destroying a lot of Jin's forces. Uh, Universal Carrier, by the way. Also, Vet 3, good job, Communists, for that. I can't believe I just said good job, Communists, though I have a B4 John poster with a Communist logo. Once again, thank you, Streak and Wookie. For your amazing support there. Um, Tom Ray's dropping in additional resources right there. So really awesome to see. Again, he's still dropping in. They're get, they're, Jin is getting very close. We can have a... Uh, he doesn't have the manpower yet. It's going to be another minute. And I think it'll be a 15 minute. But we can see a 15 minute King Tiger. Oh God. What do the British have at their disposal? They have double AT guns. Great counter to armor. That should... At the bare minimum, keep the Tiger back, maybe not kill it. Now, combine that with the Royal Engineers and the mines he's placing, that could be a good defense. Again, A and the Americans and British have been putting on a lot of pressure. Tom Reigns has been dropping fuel constantly in an effort to supply this push for the King. Now, um, once again, if you're going to go with the King, I don't think that Jin's Doctrine would have been beneficial. To be 100% honest, I think Jin going Elite Armored might be slightly better because then you get the additional bonuses like the Panzer Commander and the additional Heat Rounds, which makes the King even more formidable. That's just me. I can see the fortifications also working maybe um, for like, again, additional defenses or like trying to hold up for that with munitions maybe, but right now it's not working because you just don't have the men to capture their territory. The British are keeping the front relatively contested though a small uh, german a a counterattack is allowing them more territory and right now it looks like we will have it the 15 minute king tiger has been deployed whoa nelly people say oh it's been patched no more 15 minute tigers 
Jin and Tommy just proved you guys wrong. We have ourselves a 15 minute King Tiger. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. All right, anyway, so King Tiger on the field. American player has one AT gun. And right now, does he have a major? No, he's a Giga major. He can, but he doesn't have one now. So the only thing he has to stop it is Bazooka Team, which we I saw with the Rashlon squad. They do have Bazooka. And the AT gun. The British has two AT guns, but that's about it. He's getting himself a Cromwell. But this king is advancing right now. I think, again, giving the king an MG would have been better, but right now he doesn't have that. Also, he's focusing on armor, which, I, again, I find that very weird. He got off it. Grenade going off. Does really nothing. Um, this is horrifying. This is, this is absolutely horrifying for them to be fighting a king tiger at the 15-minute mark. Or now 16-minute mark. Great hit by the king. Pushes back the squad. Honestly, shots from the Howitzer are bouncing off the King, which is hilarious. This should allow the Germans to counterattack. Though, once again, we do have mines. But it looks like the Panzer IV is going to hit the mine rather than the King. Now, we see additional mines over here, which should stop any additional attacks. Oh, wait. No, King's going in. And he's charging the British line. Again, very interesting. He's, char he's uh, unknowingly charging a front that actually has more defenses even though they think they it could be more easier to crush because remember they double at guns and as you can see here it actually has a good range again this one can hit this way and this will get this way if it could push us any more forward the king's gonna have some issues Volk squad's taking mid and they should be able to at least take it rifleman squad dead uh yeah that's annoying uh probably should have retreated that how it's opening fire in mid trying to push back the Volk squads they did not capture it i don't know why that would have helped for pressure Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't a Cromwell. It was a Churchill. Damn. Okay, 17 minute Churchill. Not as amazing as a king, but still potent. Still very potent. And combine that with the double AT, and the British player is prepped and ready to go against that king. Because the Churchill can take the hits, the AT guns can do the damage. AT guns opening fire, bouncing multiple shots. You know, so Kerry unfortunately did bite the bullet. Alas. For Kenworth, though, moving in, we have additional munitions being called in to, I assume, help with airstrikes and other possibilities. Though, I believe Tommy, yeah, doesn't have all the uh, upgrade. Oh, he's not high enough yet. He's calling in an AT, uh, sorry, anti infantry strafe here. Though, as we can see with it coming in, hold on, where is it? Yep. It doesn't do that much damage. It's not plane crash. It doesn't do as much as, like, the the American strafe you get with the tax support just not not like that now unfortunately the Panzer IV did die from assuming the AT guns which good job for them I'm assuming hold on yep it got a kill cool Panzer IV charging an AT line with a Churchill which is stupid just stupid I don't again he's going for this he may get the kill damn he actually might oh nope he's gonna be snared he got the kill, but an AA half-track is not worth a Panzer IV. That's half the resources, close to manpower, but half the fuel for uh, each respective armor. So, honestly, that's an allied victory. That's an allied victory, even though they lost some units. Again, British defenses are still holding, and I'm assuming are putting pressure over here, though the Germans, specifically Tommy, is still holding that territory, allowing him to get munitions. Now, he has a ridiculous amount, and mines went off, so good for him. I, I'm assuming a mortar detonated them right there. Because I believe those were... Wait, no, uh, maybe were they German? That's weird, the German mines were there. And, uh, okay. Sure, why not? I, I thought they were British, but because they were clumped up, and I thought... But I guess they no, they maybe were German, okay. Mass Panzerfaust going out, but again, it's Churchill. He can take a lot of those hits. Another AT strafe, but once again, the plane's going to come in, and once again, it'll do a little bit of damage, but it's not going to do anything major. But the large German push will do what it needs to and continue to advance. Churchill can't really fight a lot, all that infantry, especially with the Verkenwerfer for there, because if it gets trapped, the amount of AT they have could rip it apart. King just hanging back, but it needs healed, so it's at commission. They'd probably be better off if they had the king to advance. But alas, they don't. Um, if they can keep pressure on, that would be great. 
but I, I'm very curious to see if they could. Now, if they decommission this AT gun, that could be very potent. Because, again, they decommission it, knock it out. Uh, the British don't have that. Now, great. Oh, good first shot, second shot, kind of missed. American forces coming on in. Now, luckily, he does have a Calliope. Though, I think a Jackson might be a little bit better in this scenario because of the King. Though, as we see, the King is still damaged. So... With what the British is doing, it's fine. Oh, he just took the Raquette. Oh, I'm sorry. He has two AT guns. Never mind. Calliope's a good choice. Oh, wait. Okay, maybe maybe he took the British one. Whatever. Churchill gets a nice rear shot on the King. King misses the shot. Has to pull on back. Because, again, it's at half health. Go back here and heal. Do you, no, you don't have the upgrade. Wait, you have plenty of fuel and resources. Get the upgrade. Like, what are you doing? I don't know. But you need to do something a little bit better in that regard. Um... Again, the British still has some light defenses, though. He's definitely taken some hits. He has plenty of resources, though. And as you can see, he's calling in a Firefly, so he should be fine. The British infantry is also really upgraded. Honestly, I think, uh, I know, I know fortifications, but I do think a Bofor in this sector would help against holding against a lot of German forces and at least keeping your sector under your control. Um, uh, meanwhile, uh, Tommy has a ton of munitions, like, by far. As soon as he gets to some of those upgrades, I could easily see a bunch of airstrikes coming on in. But... We shall see. Volk squad's advancing. Germans, unfortunately, lost control of the VP caps and now are at risk of losing uh, the capture war. They're essentially, the, uh, the, the, this ob the objective over the, VI the VP points. Especially with the... I love this. The Americans are just taking everything. They have the support gun. They have the Vercan Warfare. They're just borrowing a lot from the Germans. Anyway, we have a strafing support coming in. Again, not doing a lot to infantry. Maybe the bonus is that it moves them from position. But as soon as they realize you're fine, it's just not going to be going all that great for them. Meanwhile, once again, another push on right. But on the positive note, the armor piercing ground stopped the British in their tracks. Though grenade going off, pretty much pushing that G back. I, I don't care what you say. That G needs to fall back. Otherwise, it's going to die. Like one random bullet is going to kill it. Calliope trying to go in for a close range artillery strike. Does push back the Volk squads. But... Grandier gets one luck. I mean, they get lucky on a Grandier, but otherwise Grandier is still advancing. And getting a couple of nice shots. A T-Strafe coming in, but once again, it's on the front line. Don't call in an AT strafe on the front line. It's a bad move because the enemy can see it and pull back. Be smart. Call in a recon plane and find out where the enemy is. Once you realize that, once you realize where the enemy is, uh, behind enemy lines, then call it in. Like, how awesome would it be if they called in an AT strafe against, like, an armored unit in the back, like, here? Because he's not paying attention to it, he doesn't see it, and he's more like, especially when you're engaging, like, his infantry here. He's going to be more focused on microing this infantry than he is going to be looking over smoke back here. Also, don't put the green smoke right on top of this. Put it somewhere else so they don't see it. So that way the plane comes in that direction, but they don't see the plane smoke, uh, initially. So they don't know, oh, they're targeting this unit. Sometimes green smoke can give away more than a red smoke can. Um, anyway, luckily the American player, even though he lost mid um, in terms of not being able to capture it and had to pull back, he still is putting up a hell of a fight for not necessarily having a direct counter to the king because of the amount of artillery and AT he has. The king has taken, a, not substantial, but enough uh, hits here and there to make it fall back and reconsider attacking that position, which is very good. Um, good job keeping on the pressure. Like to see it. Now, one criticism. Jin not, doesn't exactly have a ton of infantry support. He has a, a good almost a done. I'm not going to criticize that. And right now, the American player is losing that, like, uh, combat effective frontline infantry force. He's really focusing more on support. Whereas the British, yeah, they got your back. They got the nice big old blob, which I think the king would be more likely to fight that than fight the, this guy. I feel like a Stuka or, dare I say, artillery, which also... I'm debating about this positioning. It's it's a fine position. It's close enough to the base where it might be hard to target it. I'm okay with that right now. We'll see how if they kill it. My only can my only criticism would be it would be maybe putting a bunker to heal it. But so close to the base, I feel like that's I don't know, a waste. Um But that's just me. Meanwhile, Tommy doing a good counterattack is pushing forward. Now Stuka Bomb's coming in, I'm assuming right here. He anticipated the Stuka to go farther back. So he used them to say retreat or die. 
Good Suka. It may have not hit anything, but it did what it needed to. It kept the units from retreating, otherwise they would have been Suka bombs. So, not a bad hit. Not a bad hit whatsoever. Anyway, Panzer IV is trying to keep the pressure going. Now, again, Bazooka Team's more focused. Again, uh, well, I'm sorry. Bazooka Team, again, with the Rare Salon Squad for Cadmore for AT Gun. That should be enough pressure to push these guys back. We'll see how effective that is. Again. I'm of the mindset that, uh, how do I, how do I say this nicely? Um, the American player is, definitely got hurt, but is not defeated. We look at the amount of, uh, fuel specifically. He can deploy any armored vehicle he wants. And, uh, my only issue is manpower, but he's starting to get back some more riflemen and bet them up and stuff like that. So, totally fine. Compare that to Tommy, who doesn't really have his MAMGs, doesn't have a huge front line for specifically fighting infantry. He's kind of lacking in that regard. Now... Jin is doing a little better, but not that much. Though, definitely has the largest army on the map. Let's be 100% clear on that. So, Tommy boosting Jin definitely helped the, in some regard. Though, I don't think it was the game changer, like the decisive victory they wanted. So, looks like we might be in for a little bit of a slog. And by slog, I mean literally uh, armored vehicles dying over, over, and over again. Uh, so, I feel like a lot of people might be happy with that. Um, alright, we got two heavy tanks fighting, and yes, I consider the Churchill a heavier tank. Um, anyway, it can definitely take the hits, and it can definitely, uh, deal damage against infantry. Good Calliope hit, knocks out the Oval Sadatin. Howitzer comes in, knocks out the Oval Sadatin, all down the one man. Very lucky that unit doesn't die, though the American force is like, no, we're gonna kill you. Uh, he's going after it, might get the kill, double bar firing under hell and gets the kill on the retreating squad now this squad's retreating but manages to escape firefly and churchill putting pressure on the german player he is falling back panzer four they're coming on the flank trying to hold back the british armored assault that's currently taking place the british are keeping pressure on the axis although panzer Grenadier is trying to push the armor back though churchill focusing fire trying to keep the three-star man back and seems to be working out pretty well churchill definitely took some hits with the firefly counteracting a lot of the armor Still, we have a second Firefly on the field. Problem is that uh, Grand Air Squad, I think it should focus fire rather than heal. Artillery is also coming down in mid, which could be a key issue. But the American player is also bringing up his Jackson. So now we have three heavy, well not heavy. Well, okay, we'll say uh, heavy damage dealing tank destroyers on the field, managing to hold back a King with ease, easily. I would say two Fireflies, enough. Add a Jackson, oh boy, that King is Swiss cheese. Tank destroyer somehow hit infantry. I'm surprised. Uh, we have a strafe coming in. I'm assuming it's an anti-infantry one. It will suppress the infantry. Though, again, he moved out of the way. So he's fine. Remember, a limited area of effect. British infantry charging forward against the uh, German uh, position. Now, if they throw... Uh, my, only my only critique with this positioning is the fact that right now this guy didn't have an artillery. Think if he had the artillery player. He throws that, that brings in air burst shells, which hurts armor, and also the artillery, which hurt, can hurt armor um, as well. Enough tank destroyers, you can see they're putting on the pressure. Now, what they could do is activate this early warning, so they have recon at all these, like, positions near the front, and because they are close to the front, they would give sight. Now, fireflies are dangerous and close to the front, which could allow them to be taken out by ET guns and or the tanks, but the nice thing is, uh, they don't really have too much, and they managed to escape. Now, the King Tiger is Vet 2, and they are keeping that alive. Howitzer, I'm assuming, maybe doing a closer range artillery, trying to keep the guys back. Nope, it's a little farther back. Firefly needs to get the hell out of there before a Howitzer hit hits directly on that unit, though it seems the scatter burst is more up here rather than down here. Oh, maybe, okay, maybe a little bit over there. Just a little bit of everywhere. Now, a lucky artillery hit could easily shoot this up to Vet 2. We'll see what happens, though. It doesn't look like the howitzers really hang anything. Wow, luck is not on their side. A lot of the British units are highly vetted, so give credit with credit to you. Good job, communists, for keeping your units highly vetted. Same thing with the American player, though the armor is lacking in that regard. Tom Ray has a lot of highly vetted uh, panzer grenadiers. I'll give credit there. And again, good job to try and keep your men healed. Unfortunately, more armor uh, healing is needed. AT gun was knocked out, so I'll give credit. 
Though, again, Mechanized could easily reman it with a Rare Slone Squad, and it looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. Uh, Recon Flight went overhead. Suka Dive Bomb coming down. I can only imagine it's going to hit the Firefly. But he's moving! Unfortunately, he didn't retreat fast enough, and yeah, the squads died. So, uh, two uh, upgraded Rash Launch, uh, not Rash Royal Engineer squads dead. That's a good Suka Bomb Strike because even though they may not be the most powerful unit, they are definitely a support function uh, that is needed on this battlefield. They heal. They need that healing capability to keep the armor in tow. So, again, requiring more manpower to be diverted for those uh, healing resources can definitely not not uh definitely not hinder but maybe just like stagger the british advance just a little bit more slowly now what is going to cause a definite issue is that unit dying oh boy a firefly did bite it jackson moving on in i don't understand why i'm assuming trying to kill the king but there's panzer grandiers right there that's a hell of a big no churchill even moving back is like fuck that i'm not dealing with those panzer grandiers anyway Good artillery hit. Once again, getting a great shot on the British infantry, reducing the amount. Getting a nice hit on that howitzer. Again, focusing on where they're coming in. Great job with the artillery. Again, it's essentially the best way to describe what the artillery piece is doing. It's Operation Desert Storm. I think that was the Hell's Highway. No, wait, is that? There was literally a, a highway that was, in essence, hell on earth because essentially the american air force bombed it so badly that it was just miles and miles of burning car wrecks stuff like that essentially because again there was one road great idea let's attack i mean like to be fair the germans did that in world war ii the problem is allied specifically french leadership was so incompetent that they, they again a decent bombing campaign on that specific road and target could have stopped the Ardeen's breakthrough that occurred during the French campaign. However, because of their French leadership was so incompetent, um, yeah, that, uh, didn't help and threw a lot of, uh, yeah, units in disarray and then everyone knows the whole clusterfuck that was France in late 1940, but, or 1940, May 1940. Any case, uh, but the artillery is doing that. It's causing hell on that one position, hanging a lot of units and I'm assuming getting a lot of energy. It is. 15 kills vet 2 now pack 43 is also being made for coverage in mid this is a good idea to an extent uh great job with Calliope killing two bulk squads along with the churchill providing support of fire luckily a lot of tank destroyers are now trying to counteract a lot of the armor and with that pack 43 they'll definitely do that churchill should live it's very close but it did live firefly is staying uh, just on the edge but it should be enough to kill it at strafe though coming in in it's coming in from a certain angle. We'll see if it kills it. Nope, went the wrong way. Oh my god! German Kamikaze comes out of nowhere, almost kills the Churchill. Very lucky. Very lucky indeed, though three squads are healing it. Another counterpoint, if the artillery shell hits that squad while healing, it's going to be a lot of casualties for the Allies and a lot of energy for the Axis. So it looks like the airstrikes are doing what they can and doing very well. The problem is they need to continue those airstrikes in order to keep the allies back. How, will that be a, will that be effective long term? Maybe not, and I'll explain why. Right now, it looks like the the American player has an anti-air gun. If this thing gets more vetted, uh, and I believe it's vet, let's see, um, vet two, uh, Valhard and San Fiegel's limits. Uh, no, it's actually, they don't have this. I thought there was a better anti-air mode. Maybe I'm thinking of another vehicle. But es essentially, they can use this to shoot down planes. And if they shoot down the planes, they can maybe shoot down the airstrikes before they come in. Which would be very useful indeed. Any case, um, that could possibly limit the anti-air capability. My recommendation would possibly be a centaur or something like that in the back line, along with that on the other side. So when the planes come in, it's shot down and maybe doesn't hit target. Anyway, large armored force moving on in. Once again, you have to worry about that pack 43, but they're laying their stuff on the edge of it. So they're still doing damage against those tanks. Now they are advancing, but the Rakenwerf over here, Firefly, and there's plenty of defenses. It should be enough to hold back these Panzer IVs. And as we can see, it's definitely doing that. Though, unfortunately, that Jackson did just bite it. Again, he moved in too quickly, and the pack 43 was able to just 
knock that sucker out. Again, do enough damage where the king got the final kill. 41 kills, by the way, for that king. That king is doing very well for itself. And I'm assuming the pack 43 will return fire. Nope, gets out of range. Also, the thing about the pack 43 that I forgot to mention earlier, I should have, is the calliopes. If the calliopes manage to focus on, the, on that uh, pack 43, it's definitely going to, they're in for some hell. They are in for some hell. Because, again, it can definitely knock that sucker out along with a lot of their artillery. Also, let's be 100% honest with ourselves. Jin does not have a frontline army. He has one good infantry frontline unit, Storm Pioneers or support. They can be good, but right now he's using them to heal. He's not going to be using them for frontline combat. There's no way. He needs the armor healed. And then Sport Gun's good for support. He's not a frontline combat unit. Tommy has two units that, at best, are can be suitable frontline combat units though because they're focused on anti-armor they're not gonna fight the infantry you know what i take that back you know what they have for anti-infantry planes coming down onto the enemy because apparently that they have japanese kamikazes in the german air force or at least the rng gods are on their side sugabomb coming in sugabomb coming in Decapping the munitions. It looks like Panzer IV died. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lots of artillery. I'm assuming they called it in. Yeah, they killed them on the, while they were healing. Holy crap. They called in concentration and that. Also, we have zeroing artillery. I'm assuming that's in the back. Yep, it's, it's over this area. So they're going to stop the, axe, the allied advance. Because again, they're all firing. They're all doing damage. So the axes have sight on these units. So zeroing will work. So it's a good way to keep the enemy back. Though, uh, the other issue is the fact that the Germans seem to be getting enough munitions where that is a, that is going to be an issue with zeroing be constantly being called in. Though, it looks like some of the equipment can be remanned, so it's not a total loss, but that was a, that was a good counterattack. Because that's keeping the allies away from mid. And even though with the limited manpower and units they have, they're still doing quite a bit to take this position. Zeroing on the edge does a little bit to that infantry though there's still plenty of at that king is not going to be able to advance like it thinks it's going to another criticism i will say is this uh firefly doesn't have the tulip rockets which could keep that unit right there and long enough for maybe a double calliope like everything hit on it for the kill it which would be i mean like Jin has enough fuel but doesn't have enough manpower for it so that's the big issue that's the big issue that i currently see anyway Firefly putting on the pressure on that unit. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Airstrike going overhead. We have Suka Bomb coming in. Where is it coming down? We have artillery coming down here. Wow. Calliope's leave. Howitzer. Oh, boy. Just uh, not in a great position right there. Again, the artillery, I'm assuming they have it to counteract. Yeah, it's Vet 4, and they have it on C's counter. They need to neutralize it. Now, luckily, they can. It's this little thing mechanized called an air... Oh, you don't have a major. Okay, first off, get a major. Major is very important. Secondly, use the recon from the major to target this sucker and bomb it. Because you kind of know where it is. Third, Jesus Christ, dodge the planes. Just like Piccolo to Gohan, dodge! Anyway, artillery coming down, knocks out the pack 43. That's the nice thing about the priest. Problem, this thing is going to counterattack. This thing is absolutely going to counterattack that priest, which, uh, again, is something you need to worry about. But at least the pack 43 is dead. And it looks like the British are remanning their forces. They have enough manpower and fuel where they can easily do that. Looks like we have uh, British artillery coming in. <laughs> Tommy leaves. Jin, not so much. Jin is probably going to lose that Stern Pioneer squad. He's definitely taking damage. Okay, definitely lost a man. Luckily, he was able to escape. Shots are coming in. Get some nice hits. And he definitely kills that unit, which is good. Firefly moving on in. Remember, Vet 3. So, doing very well for itself. Churchill just just, just smacking down that Panzer Grand Air Squad. It's like, you're trying to come in. No, 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 no. That's not happening. Uh, uh, uh. Any case, uh, Firefly, once again, I feel like Tulip Rockets would be a good combo. You have plenty of munitions. It's not like... I, I feel like you would be fine. I do think you guys are focusing a little bit too much on fuel with those caches, but that's just me. Stuka Bomb coming in. 
Yeah, Luckily, the riflemen mostly survive. I mean, yeah, three men died, but at least he doesn't have to build a new squad. Jin did get two normal over squads, and he's getting another Jagdpanzer. So two tank destroyers and a king. I'm assuming that the idea is to use them to combine with the king to hold back the tank destroyers. Right now, the Germans are doing very well at holding mid for what they have. and Because right now, honestly, they have less men than the Allies. But they're using it a little bit better, in my opinion, than the Allies. And with their combined artillery and airstrikes and everything, they're being okay. They're doing, uh, they're doing very well. That's not to say the Allies are doing bad. They're not. They're honestly not. They're anticipating the airstrikes. They're making sure they aren't as, uh, you know, they're not as powerful as they could be. For the most part, they're making sure their armor stays alive, though sometimes they may overextend. Although, maybe that's a trap, because I right now see the Calliope coming in. And that stew died, so it worked. The Churchill managed to get the hell out of there. And oh, we have zeroing coming in here, which is a major concern. But it looks like most of the forces see the zeroing and are getting out of the combat area, so they should be fine. We'll see if that lasts, but anyway, we also have the howitzer opening fire. Maybe in this... No, it's firing over here, okay. Yeah, it's firing there. Anyway, Churchill luckily is able to escape again. Vet 3, 25 kills, doing very well. King... 48 kills, almost vet 3, very close. For Kenworth, we're getting a nice shot on it. Firefly getting a nice shot on it. And a British infantry coming on in um, to uh, support, though they, do, once again, they don't have the uh, the air burst. Though it seems like he's doing pretty well with the concentration barrage, though it is a lot cheaper to do just a, just a signal rather than the other thing. But again, planes get shot down, so at least it wasn't as effective, hopefully, as they were planning. Panzergrandier is just moving on in. Again, luckily, they have the Royal Engineers with the upgraded weapons. Again, this is the Heavy Engineers. So they get the Vickers uh, Light Machine Guns with these. They may not be as potent as other um, special upgrades, but they are cheaper. Just take note about that for overall attack power. And overall, so far, the these guys have lost, but these guys haven't. So, again, relatively speaking... They're at least keeping the, the Panzer Grandiers back. Now, there's a Panzer IV opening fire, but this unit's now gone. That means Panzer IV has no coverage, so it's smackdown time. And that Firefly's like, oh, come over here, Panzer IV. I have a nice caliber round that can go right through you with your name on it. Meanwhile, Calliope doing a lot of damage to all the infantry in mid, forcing the access to a full route. Allied forces, in the meantime, are taking mid. Neither... The uh, German player has the ability to call any strikes, so the allied players will be able to hold that position and take those points. And hopefully turn the tide, because right now victory point uh, victory is closer to the Germans winning than it is to the allies winning. So we'll see how that continues. Meanwhile, Tomre has lost a lot of men with those uh, airstrikes and also knocking out his armor. Whereas Jin has at least kept relatively stable, and I'll say the artillery is doing wonders. 55 kills, by the way, for that. 22 kills with one vehicle destroyed for the artillery. Now the Panzer IV bites the dust. Firefly. Very lucky in some of those dodges. Unfortunately, it also missed. For Ken, we're from moving on. It needs to move a little closer. Gets a nice shot. Gets a second nice shot with the Firefly. For Ken, we're from gets a, a nice shot. That could be it for this. One last hit. And the American. Um, yeah, the American AT gun knocks it out. American AT support, which is hilarious with the German for Kenwerfer, combined with the Fireflies doing wonders. Now, he's advancing. This is a horrible idea. This is a terrible idea because, once again, it's a Panther. You're allowing the enemy to hit you with rear armor. It died. He was trying to push. He was trying to be very sneaky and be like, I'm going to charge and knock out the artillery. Two problems with that. First problem. This is the big one. Um, the enemy has still all the tank destroyers, which, as you just saw, knocked him out. Plus, it's vet three, so it's gonna, it's gonna pen. Uh, second, you uh, showed rear armor, which allowed the Churchill to pen you, so that did damage. Third, your targets are not a Katusha. It's not something easy where you can kill in a single shot. It's a Calliope, and it's a Priest. Each one at least requires two shots to knock it out. Two shots. So, your Panther has to then have enough time to fire that. And also, uh, yeah, you're just rushing at enemy lines, especially because there's Royal Engineers right there, which could be an issue. Now, luckily, the one thing you have going for you is this. This thing has got another armored kill, knocked out this uh, priest. I'm sorry, I keep saying priest. It's a sexton. My apologies. It's a sexton. The sexton, it knocked it out. 
And, uh, yeah. Cop is did something just fly by on the screen? Anyway, uh, knocked it out. And, uh, kept the British artillery a little bit at bay. Though, once again, I will point out... Oh, first off, nice calliope. Just holding back that ar uh, infantry. Good, good timing on that. And also, nice vet one. But, my recommendation, and this is just me, is use your, uh... Use your concentration barrage to knock out this. I feel, I feel like it's a better... It, it's a good plan. I feel like it's a good plan. Again, you don't necessarily have a, uh... Direct strike... Uh, like per se that's super powerful but this concentration mod is enough of a direct strike where you at least decrew it and having a recruit AT gun is probably a little better off than having a VET 5 AT gun at least in my opinion AT strafe coming on in um yeah doing quite a bit of damage for cat warfare still on standby uh Yag Panzer helping guard mid I think camouflage mode might be a little bit better so the enemy doesn't see you, but that's just me. Um, luckily, resource-wise, the Germans are still doing very well munition-wise. The Allies are doing better fuel-wise, but I don't know. With the amount of fuel the Allies currently have, I feel like more munitions might be a little bit better off. But again, right now, I would say fuel is probably better off for the Germans because they keep losing armor left and right. Well, okay. Okay, let me be. Let me clarify. Tommy keeps losing armor left and right. I think he's supposed to be the better. No, they're both F3. Okay. Yeah, Tommy keeps losing a lot of his men. So, I, I don't know about that. I think he needs to start keeping his men alive. Because if he keeps throwing them away, it's not going to help. It's absolutely not. Howitzers. All, the, sorry, Howitzer. The artillery piece is under fire. So, again, you have to watch out for that. Again, nice job with the Sexton. Still have tons of armor over here, so they'll be totally fine. And again, we have flares going out to the British. Should be able to see, well, the Allies should be able to see, as you can see right now. They can see a lot of positions. Concentration barrage, like right here. Yeah, there we go. See, you can see it. You can definitely do damage. Meanwhile, we have a large armored push. We don't have, we have enough for zeroing, so they could use that as a counterattack. Strafing support coming on in. That was a good one. They actually got some kills. Uh, unfortunately, there's enough uh, AT fire that King Tiger can't stay for too long. It'll pop shots, and it's almost Vet 4, which would be very good. Very good indeed. But uh, we'll see what happens. In any case, a Calliope pushing back the infantry once again. Panther coming on the flank. But again, there's a Jackson and two Fireflies. Sure, they're injured, but they can still fire a hell of a range and keep the enemy back. So that is a key issue. Also, I'm very curious why you got a Stuka, because... It's not like the enemy's blobbing a lot of infantry at you. It's mostly a lot more armored that you're fighting. So I feel like, specifically with the OKW and this, like, grouping, I feel like another howitzer would probably be your better bet. But that's me. Um, King Tiger probably going to be like, screw you for Ken Murphy. I need to kill you. I need to take it out. But luckily you're vet four, so hot damn. A little bit of better on that mobility and navigation. Anyway, Suka Bomb coming on in. Does quite a bit of damage. Knocks out the Vercan Murphy and does damage to that. So, again, does like quite a bit, but still not that one. Panther trying to hold the right flank, but again, AT Fire is just going to keep that sucker back. Again, he's going to need more potent infantry. Like, use your uh, ability for calling. Get a bunch of munitions. Get Grenadiers and upgrade them. Like, get like two Grenadier squads. Upgrade him with MG42s. You could easily, maybe not win a fight, but go toe to toe with those British infantry squads. They still have a lead over you, but it's by far better than the Panzer Grenadiers. Although I do find the hilarious one of the Panzer Grenadiers does have a bar, so you know, I, I, I guess just steal American equipment then and give it. I, I, yeah, something along those lines. Anyway, we have return fire, and I like how he's healing. Um, artillery's coming down. Sexton is returning fire. They are healing back here. That could be an issue if the artillery hits it, but luckily it's not. Again, another artillery piece. You can pepper the shots a little bit more. This king, 61 kills. Damn, that thing is a beast. We got more uh, units coming in for resupply. Again, combined with all three, yes, they're going to hold back one squad. But the fireflies are coming in being like, Panther, you're going to pull back. Yag pods are coming on the flank. I didn't even notice this. It's Vet 5. It has not gotten a single kill. That might change, but it has not gotten a single kill. 
Very interesting. Fireflies are on standby, though. If he engages any further, the other Firefly will engage, and that one's higher. Well, okay, that one is uh, higher vanity and uh, full health, so that can be an issue. Great job with Calliope, killing another one of Tommy's units. He's down to one, one Frontline Infantry unit. Meanwhile, King Tiger and Yag Panzer opening fire. As much as Jin's infantry might not be the best, uh, his armor gameplay, his artillery is doing fantastic. Zero Wing is now coming in mid. That could do a lot of damage. Pack 43 has also been made, so that's going to put back the enemy. We'll see how effective that is. Um, uh, again, right now it could be taken out, similar to the last one, but I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to take a look. Calliope once again coming in mid. That's going to easily push back the... Oh my god, he's so lucky. I was going to say, you need to pull that unit back before it dies. And it might die, honestly. It does die. And that might allow him to grab a free squad. Though Zeroing is coming on in. Kills the unit. Should have retreated. And from that, as you can see, the American player lost a lot of casualties. But he has enough manpower, he can get it back. I'm not saying that's the best thing. And as you can see with the Suka Bomb, that is not helping anyone. But the Churchill is still alive, which is what I guess he wants. And has 29 kills. Calliope has 22 kills. This Calliope has 15. Pulling all this stuff back. And right now, even though, I love this, even though the Axis have driven the Allies out of mid, they do not have the infantry to take mid. That's just a little icing on the cake. Though, I think the Allies do need to sell a little more infantry to capture. Though, as you see with Mechanized, he's getting the Rifleman. He realizes the importance of having a frontline combat army to take points and push back what little infantry the Germans actually have. Meanwhile, Firefly moving on right. I'm assuming they know about the Panther and they're trying to counteract it. Panther is moving in. Again, I think this is stupid. And yes, you could say the Panther might win a fight against a Firefly. But remember, there's Jackson, another Firefly right there. So even though this AT gun, which again, amazing that they stole an American AT gun, they're, they're, they're still they're still fighting too much AT. Suka coming in. I'm assuming it's going to hit this sector. Calliope, you're turning fire on it. Damn, gets a good hit. Almost kills it, though. Shoots up the vet, too. Gets a lot of damage throughout. and actually hits a lot of the armor and the infantry healing the armor. American forces holding mid. American AT gun using the extra armor piercing and range to try to push back that king. King not being stopped by the AT gun up to 69 kills. That's right. 69, boys. Enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, it's gone. Sorry. Man. Ugh. It's too quick. Too quick. Anyway. German infantry forces over here. Again, you should have pulled that back behind the line. Now the British are going to take full use of their long-range weapons to try to push that sucker back. Fireflies doing what they can to push back that king. Very, very nice. Uh, right now, overall population-wise, we can still see uh, the, the allies have more. Tommy's right now the weak link in this chain. Though, I love this. He gave his Panzer Grenadiers both the Panzer Shrek and he stole the Obel Sedan weapon. Sure. Why not? Uh, with the amount of armor, though, that the allies currently have to repair, maybe another infantry squad would be good. Though, having a little bit of flexibility doesn't help. Although, And he has enough manpower and fuel that, quite honestly, if you wanted to use it on something like that, even, even quote-unquote wasting it, I think it would still be a fine... Uh, use of it. Now again, are the, all the armors currently being healed? So on both sides, they're kind of recovering. Plane going down, we'll sing the Calliope, which is once again hilarious. I love it when planes almost hitting this stuff. It's it's just perfect. Meanwhile, uh, counter artillery brush coming on in, hitting this sector, getting some nice hits overall. Not amazing hits, but some pretty nice hits. Anyway, uh, artillery is returning fire in this sector. Managing to push back those squads. Artillery doing quite a bit of damage, I would say. Uh, and by artillery, I mean this one. What, you thought I was talking about the this this artillery piece back here? I mean, yeah, sure, but I mean, the, the, the Pack 43 got knocked out, so I'm kind of more interested in that, because now the Allies really only have to worry about the Yagpons or the King, and the King is still pretty far back. So if, they, if the Allies push in with a lot of armor, it could easily knock that sucker out. Also, say goodbye to another Panzer Grandier squad. Damn. Anyway, uh, again, very good job with all that armor with Veterancy. But again, the Allies are coming back. And they're bringing their big guns, which are mostly healed up. 
Although, once again, I, I... Well, I take that back. Right now, Mechanize could probably... I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of getting a Major. Kind of use Artillery, redeploy... Like, have that close to the front so you can kind of use those support functions. They gotta hold back the enemy. Anyway, King doing what it does best in smashing that infantry. Uh, we have an AT Strafe coming on in. Which, is it coming in mid? No, that's Strafing Support. Oh, damn! Kamikaze knocks out the Royal Engineers. Good job. Using her uh, Japanese uh, volunteer kamikazes very well. American AT gun trying, but that King Tiger is a beast to take down now. Luckily, Churchill will take most of the hits and allow the AT gun to continue firing. Firefly has moved up to provide support of fire. Churchill, though, can't take that too much pressure. Though, the King is definitely taking a lot of heat. Sugabomb hits targets. Not a ton of damage, but decent. Um, again, overall, Vet 3, by the way, very good. Could possibly up oh, 30 seconds before it can fire down range. Jackson, though, moving on in with a new Firefly. Uh, the other Firefly, I'm assuming, moved back. No, it got killed. Damn. Okay, never mind. So they did something, right? Now, this uh, artillery hasn't gotten a lot of kills in quite some time. Maybe use the self propeller artillery to hit this and maybe come in this way? That might be a good idea because it may, like, mine this area up. I don't know. I mean, right now you're low on ma uh, munitions, so I guess the American would have to lay the cheap mines down. I know a lot of people don't like using those. But overall, it seems like the Allies are doing a very good job because they are slowly whittling down the Germans. And it may not seem like that, but overall the resources they have in all population compared to what the Germans have. The only player I can see actually doing very well is Jin. Tommy's unfortunately probably the weakest person in this game. Though, it's again, if we look at Jin, like again, he hasn't had the best luck with keeping his units alive that's not armored. If it's armored, it's fine. Or maybe the artillery piece. But everything else, not, not, not great. Though, again, the Germans, for credit where credit's due, they are keeping the pop cap on the axis. I'm sorry, on the allies and bringing that down. They still have the VP victory. So good job there. But, again, it's just one of those things that, I don't know, it, how do I say this? It's just like, a lot of this armor needs healed, so I do, it's going to be a while before they take it. And right now we know the, okay, yes, you got Major. We know the American player has tons of munitions, we can keep upgrading his men. I think a Bazooka team on this one would be actually pretty good. Um, oh, shit. Aw, oh, damn it. There goes the three-star Churchill. That was, a, that was a hell of a loss right there. But he has resources to get a new one, so it's not that big of a deal. AT strafe kind of hits. Damn it! I was really hoping to hit something back here. I think he killed almost the Don squad, but anyway, it just caused a big fire pit over here. Damn it! That would be amazing if it actually killed something for once. Uh, Suka returning fire. Let's see if we actually get something. Calliope's are on standby. Doesn't really hit anything of note. Kind of a missed opportunity there. Major could drop smoke, artillery, additional recon, even decoy flares. There's a lot of options they could use. So, I don't know. I'm just of that mindset, though. Good job killing that with the Pack 43, which is finally Vet 2 now. Vet 2. Um, they're keeping a lot of their armor back, but using the Calliope's to annihilate that Pack 43. It is off the face of the earth. Anyway, American Infantry launching counterattack. And again, they can. Firefly moving on up. They're trying to kill the king. The king does not have a main weapon. It is Vet 5. And alas, it does not have a main gun. So, that is very interesting to say the least. Artillery returning fire in this region. I'm assuming trying to hit their mother tree. Or trying to hit... There's a mortar carriage over here. So, maybe that's trying to help also keep this area under their control. Zeroing is coming in. But it's coming in this sector. And the allies have already been pretty much driven out. Though there's some stragglers kind of coming in. But... They've mostly been pressed out. So, it's not going to be as effective as they they, they would think it would be. Now, again, Pan's Grandiers are going to fire on the Jackson. I Hopefully, the Jackson escapes. Although, the Jackson might sacrifice. Yep, okay. They're going to kill the Panther. Maybe the British Skull will go take. Oh, never mind. I'll sit on right there. They'll take. But, hey. I uh, mean, they decrude it. That's always a positive. Decent grenade. Doesn't kill it. Does a little bit of damage. Um... Uh, Sexton still opening fire. Now, you could... You could absolutely say... Okay, Grey Shot. Um, I don't think this is fair because... 
the allies are artillery spamming. And as a fair criticism, they have two Calliopes and one Sexton. However, take note, they have this thing on anti-artillery uh, fire. So it will counteract any artillery that comes on the field and has already killed a few of their artillery units. And again, you could always say Grave Shot, that's not enough, there's too much artillery. Remember, they have a unit that literally is great at killing artillery in the back. The nice thing is, though, is that the allies are being very overprotective and very micro-intensive to where if they hear an airstrike come in, they move their artillery immediately, which is very smart. Keeps it alive and keeps it going. Also, nice job healing the panther. At least it's not a complete wreck. Panther, recrude. Can't move, but it's recrude. And opening fire and push back the Churchill with the Jagdpanzer, which is at five, but definitely back. I love that this thing is at five and it still has yet to get a kill. Damn. Anyway, Panther is the unit's opening fire. Royal Engineers going back most likely for the heal. British infantry and American infantry are waiting most likely for a large counterattack. Major moving on in. I can see artillery being called in here. That could finish it off if used correctly. It's going to be close, but it could. Um, Major still advancing. Artillery coming in this choke point. Again, artillery is now coming in this sector. Again, he retreats. It, you should be fine. Major, again, should have retreated a little sooner. Might die. Very lucky it didn't die. Lots of our, again, the artillery is right over here. Again, Luck King is counterattacking, but alas, just not, not getting a kill. The British troops are there. We have additional tank destroyers moving on in. Panther, though, coming on the flank could help out or could hinder him. We'll see. In any case, Jagdpanzer advancing. Panther trying to get a nice hit, but again, they have the AT gun. They have a Jackson. They have plenty of stuff. Stop calling in this AT uh, sorry, it's an anti infantry strafe. It's just stopping them from repairing. The best hope you have is it crashes into the infantry. That's your best hope or armor. But alas, you, except for a couple good hits, we'll see. Anyway, artillery is at least pushing back the Sexton. Oh, gets the kill on the mortar carriage. That's pretty fucking good. So yeah, the, you, like this artillery is doing work. Um, it may not be doing it killing the artillery, but it's killing stuff. So I will give credit where credit's due. Sexton, by the way, 23 kills has killed a vehicle. So good job there. Ally still holding firm mid. And has brought the victory points where it's about even. So things are a lot more uh, close than they ha than they were originally. The so we'll currently see how things go. Overall, I still think that the Germans can bring this around. Oh, re they are lower than the Allies, but they're in the upper 60s with Tommy, I think, getting a new unit. Um, remove communists and them are in like the mid 80s so it's not a huge detrimental like thing and they do have a lot of manpower and resources on backup especially Jin. so i can see a counterattack happening plus he has a lot of vet like his three vet five units like that in itself is pretty damn potent so i would absolutely not discount these guys for a decent counterattack of some type calliope coming in right here that'll do a little bit of damage to the king Um, Panther moving around. Nice shot via the king. Luckily, again, uh, Fireflies right there and help stop them. Plus, again, throw an AT grenade from these guys and yeah, I think screwed. Again, I think an AT strafe in the back would work. I think you just need to make sure the enemy's not paying attention. Like, uh, enemy artillery is now opening fire on these guys, trying to get a kill. Again, it needs two good hits. Wow, that's hilarious. It might have actually hit that unit. Damn, it did hit that unit. Holy shit. Oh, it killed that unit. Okay, yeah. The, like, this thing is doing pretty freaking sweet. Oh, damn it. Like, an extra second it would have hit that unit. Oh, an extra second would have hit that unit. Oh, it did hit that unit. Damn, good positioning for that artillery. Wait, I almost hit that on the retreat. Germans coming back with almost a dot. Not really too much except for the Churchill to stop that. And right now they're pulling a lot of their forces back as AT. Artillery units are injured. Might have to keep back for a moment. Calliope opening fire, pushing back double Sedan once again. King is under repairs. Again, they have to push on that hill. It's 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 a it's a hell of a task, but I believe the enemy can do it. I think the enemy can. They just need to focus on what they uh, have and kind of focus on what the, the allies have and kind of figure out what they can do to counteract it. So example. 
The allies have a lot of artillery. Maybe they need to start neutralizing the artillery. We have flares coming out, but it's on the front lines. So the enemy, he can easily see this. Straight Street Strafe is coming in, but it's mostly into Churchill. Not really anything, anything else. Bad call. The enemy can see that. They anticipate it. You need to call it in back here. You need to call it in artillery stuff kind of farther back. Calliope once again coming in, helping clear the point. Well, maybe a little bit of friendly fire damage, but it's definitely helped clear the point, and the forces are pulling back. Panzer Grandiers have unfortunately met their maker, and right now Tommy's once again very low. Though zeroing is being called in, and that's okay. It's being called in on anything that fires in the sector, and now recon's coming in so to help a little more. The problem is there really isn't that much there. Um, the best maybe hope they have is hitting this unit that's on the edge, but I think it's far enough out it should be fine. Churchill could be it. Uh, definitely hit, so that could be an issue. So, we'll see. Yeah, these were engineers would be doomed, but again, I don't think they can see them. So, let's double check the Germans' point of perspective. They can't see any of that, so the artillery will not come down. Meanwhile, again, we have the Allies holding this area. They have almost a Dotten, but there's plenty of American forces plus the anti-air gun, which, by the way, has shot down 10 planes. Right now, they're pushing back the Obel Sedan pretty effectively, and yeah, the Obel Sedan might die, honestly. Uh, that's close. They will survive. Hey, pick up the Browning and the Bazooka. That could be helpful. Uh, Panzer Grenadier's like, we'll go grab that. Um, Panzer Werfer being made. Yes, that'll be help fight the Blob, so I could de definitely see it. Um, would be helpful. Major's dead, so th there's another unit that bit it, but unfortunately, it's not manpower. He's need a new one, so he's not too worried about that. Unfortunately, the knight again. Jin is probably the some of the best unit preservation so far, because again, these things have been, these things have been on the front line consistently, and they've been able to go do damage and get out relatively fine. This thing has 88 kills, by the way, hot dog, and this thing still has yet to get a kill. Again. A lot of tank destroyers on standby. Strafing support again. I don't understand why you're like. You're, I guess you're trying to stop them from repairing it, but that's minuscule at best. I, I just, I just don't see why you're doing that. I, I really don't. Anyway, large armored push coming in. We have Firefly. Might be taken out by the Panther if it's lucky. Nope. Yagpanzer gets it for. Oh damn it! As soon as it gets a kill, it dies. Son of a bitch. Uh, anyway, uh, Tank Destroyer is pushing back the Panther, which is trying to get the fuck out of there. Uh, Panther returning fire, but realizing it is... Yeah, definitely not cut out for it. Pulls back. Again, they need like a protect for something to stop it, because this Firefly is like... Wait, are you telling me I can still advance? I'm advancing. Uh, we have flares going out so they could possibly see the target. I'm assuming they could. Nice shot on the king. This is where tulip rockets would be amazing. But alas. Anyway, we could call an artillery over here. That could be effective. Nice job of tank destroyers. Um, very close. Definitely pulling back though. Gets a nice hit with the firefly. Knocks out the panther. There goes another one of Tommy's units. Holy mackerel. And again... Good job. Three kills, I think. Yeah, two vehicles. Very good job there. Sexton has 27 kills. Sorry, once again, for calling you a priest earlier. Calliope, 34. 34. Wow. Okay, both 34. Again, holding back the infantry very well. Again, the allies have a really nice, good, like, a, a good, a nice assortment of abilities and focuses right now. It's helping keep the enemy back. So, I do find funny that this mechanized guy, the only thing he's using is tax support. I wonder if he would like the other tax support a little bit more. Because I don't think he's used any of the other abilities. Which is why when I look at this doctrine, I'm like, he has a bunch of cool abilities. And then I'm looking at this game and he's used only one real. Like, he's used the, the rational on thing, but he it once it died, he's like, nah, I'm not getting that anymore. It's like the kid on Christmas who gets a toy, plays with it all Christmas Day, and then never touches it again. Yagpanzer, again, you got a new one. King's still alive, but. It's half dead. You need to be very careful. Calliope knocking out the Sedan squad. Not a lot of manpower, so we can't get a new one anytime soon. They're trying to go for the kill on that Churchill. They might get it. Black uh, Gun is keeping it range. King Tiger could get the kill. Misses, and the other shot connects. It's very low on health. Misses again. Oh my god. Finally gets the kill. Kills the Churchill. 
King Tiger retreating, but Tank Destroyers see the opportunity coming in for the flank. Oh, move forward. Pathfinding issue. Rash re uh, rear armor hit. Bounce. Oh, no. I think it was D crew, but then the last shot killed it. Which is hilarious that Vet 5 would have been decrewed and the allies could have taken that, but. Uh, that was that was their best unit. Tommy, yeah, Jin now lost all of his armor except for his artillery. This thing alone can't hold the front. Calliope's just, these Calliope's, I love it, are just close range murder boxes against that. He has Panzer Grenadiers, I just find he's not using, he's charging the front with them. Like, why wouldn't you go around with Panzer Grenadiers and come in from behind and knock those suckers out? Get like three Panzer Grenadier squads, you're in the clear. Sure, you have this, but as long as you come this way, you're fine. Anyway, uh, the Axe is desperately trying to hold on to this point because they realize they're losing this game now. Um, nice shot. At least got one of the Fireflies. Unfortunately, Communists can get another. Uh, he lost to Churchill, though, too, so you can only get really one. Maybe Churchill will be better, honestly. Firefly and Sexton pulling on back. I'm assuming they may have hit the artillery. They did. They decrewed it. They didn't kill it. It's still alive. But, uh, yeah, just lost all of its veterancy. All right. I don't see really a way for the Axis to win this. They are heavily down. Now you get a Brumbar. That might have been better earlier instead of all the Panthers. Gonna fast forward a little bit because this is still gonna continue. But I think we all know the clear victory is. It's not even close victory point wise. Calliope's opening fire, hitting the weak point, and just annihilating the Panzer headquarters. Armor's coming in, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be pushed back with the AT gun and Jackson. Not even a competition. Great kill right there. Again, Panzer Grenadier's moving on in, but uh, relatively fine. Plane crash, uh, so anti air, so effective. Anti air gun now focusing on Sturm, trying to push them back. Axe is managing to take mid, so I'll give him credit, but still, they're nowhere near it. Panzer Grenadier's doing actually a decent amount. But unit survives anyway. Armor's coming back. He's another king. He's desperately trying to hold on to this point. Again, Axe is not doing half bad, but I still don't think they're going to win this. They've lost way too much. They've rebuilt their army, but mechanizing them have too much resource, too many resources. They're going to easily come back. Yep. Artillery and stuff coming on in. Firefly and ET guy moving on up, so that's going to push that back. I don't know why you're building a bunker. The artillery will stop it in its tracks. Artillery coming in, just annihilating all the infantry coming in. Just left and right, just death and destruction for the Axis. Uh, Brumbar's on standby. Not bad placement for it, but again, it should have been there sooner. Artillery, I'm sorry, tank, sorry, tank destroyer's opening fire on that, pushing it back. Allies re-controlling mid. They did, did cap this point, which is fine, but I don't know. Needs to do a little more. Calliope's still okay. Sexton, I think, still totally fine. Um, so, yeah, they're just taking mid. Yeah, it looks like we'll be totally fine. Airstrike coming in, doing a little bit of damage. But overall, relatively fine. Relatively fine. Firefly coming in, pushing back the king along with the other Firefly. Now these guys have Panzer Shrek, so he doesn't have to really worry, though he's focusing on the infantry for some reason. Not sure why. Any case, infantry is still there. Opening fire, keeping them off point. Finally using that Molotov cocktail. Uh, Panther coming on in. Vet 3 at the very least, which is cool. He has that. And he's killed. No armor with it. He's just done damage. Firefly pushing him back. Jacksons are on standby. But like I said, I, this game's GG at this point. That They've lost all their buildings. Jackson's now easily moving on up. And there goes the game. Yep. It's a good game. Really intense game. Oh, God. All right. Interesting statement right there. But whatever. Kind of deserved. Panther trying to go out. Jackson's put it down. Quickly healing. Lots of Calliope shots in mid. And they surrender with a few points remaining. All right. So let's go over damage. Jin got 111,000 damage and 309 kills. Easily the best access player. Although, why talk about Jin? Thank you, Communists, for submitting this replay. This was a great game. Thank you so much for submitting it. Tommy was the weakest link. I think he lost way too many men, as you can see with his KD. That is reflective. Um, we look on the Axis side. 
I'm sorry, the allied side, my apologies. Um, we can see here more kills goes to the mechanized. I would say with his calliopes, absolutely. Uh, real quick, let's go with Jin and see his king, which... I'm sorry, the American player, apparently. Uh, Jackson's 31,000 damage. Calliope's 97 kills. Very, very cool. Communists, uh, 86,000 damage for Fireflies. Holy mackerel. He, a lot of them died, but still did a lot of damage. So very good in that regard. Jin, how'd you do? Yagponsers actually get more damage. Although the King Tiger took 66,000 damage. Uh, artillery got six vehicle kills, and uh, Yagpanzers did very well. Though, once again, no kills, which, oh my god, that, that poor thing. Bet five and no kills. Any case, uh, yeah, and then let's, let's double check Tommy while we're at it. Panzer Grenadiers. I think if he would have sent his Panzer Grenadiers to the flank all the way around, that might have been better. And also, Cosmo Air Strikes in the back, that might have been more effective. The Germans are doing very well, but I think they just repeated themselves a little bit too often, and the Allies just anticipated that, saw what they were doing, and countered hard. So good job there. But in any case, guys, uh, that's going to be it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this replay. If you have your own replay, submit it to GreatShotProductions at gmail.com or submit your play of the week uh, to me as well, or maybe ideas for my challenge videos, which I recently started doing. So, what any of those three things you do, send to GreatShotProductions at gmail.com. Or, you know, for the, you know, uh, the uh, challenge video, just put in the comments of the video. But in any case, this has been GreatShot17, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, before you guys go, I want to tell you about these incredible people like Milam, Ace, Chris Bailey, Fulkford, Javi Booksy, Jofo, Joey G240, Josh, Junior Chicklis, Just Thomas Plays, Little Koosh, Moustache, Only Play Apples, Pyro Shark, Rifle, Streaking Wookie, White Hot D, GTA, Jacob Oswai, Nathan Angus, and Cedar Reel. Thank you guys so much for your incredible Patreon support. This has been GreyShot17 and his amazing patrons, and I'll see you guys next time.